Hello students, welcome to Sarosters classes. In this video, I'll be discussing probability with you and we will be continuing from the terminology des description where we stopped. We stopped in a uh, complement of an event. So now we, I will be discussing with you some more terminologies which are needed to study probability and such a terminology is intersection of events. Intersection of events. What are the intersection of events? Suppose there are outcomes which are in A also in B. So these outcomes which belongs to A and also belongs to B are known as the intersection of events. For example, let us take the even faced surfaces in throwing a die throwing a die and let us symbolize this by event a so event a gives us the set 2 4 and 6 also now we can say that there is an event b which gives us the set of faces which has outcomes as multiple of 2 multiple of 2 and in that case set B is equals to 2 4 and 6 so, in this case, all the elements of set A belongs to set B. So, here we can say that A intersection B, this is the intersection symbol, is equals to 2, 4, 6. So, intersection of events is basically those events which are intersected that is the elements of event a also belong to the elements of if also belongs to the event b so when the elements of event a and elements of event b are similar then we call it intersection of events hence we can say that only those elements which belongs to A and also belongs to B are the elements which will be in the intersected set of A and B. Now we will talk about null event. What is a null event? A null event. Null event. Null event is denoted by phi. And it is an event which has no sample points. Let us uh, say that A is an event and it has no sample points. Then we denote it at phi. So this is a null event. A null event, null event does not have, have any element. or any sample point. Now, let me make a concept clear to you. If A is equals to set of 0, is this a null event? No. This is not a null event because it has one element and that one element is 0. In null event, we have no element. So, this is not a null event. S is equals to 0 is not a null event. It is a very confusing question of probability and people mistake this a lot. So, I told you about this. Now, let us move on to the next topic. Let me add a page. The next topic is probability of an event. We are getting close to probability now. Probability of an event. So, what do we mean by probability of an event? Suppose 
you are conducting a random experiment you are conducting a random experiment this random experiment has a number of outcomes has number of outcomes now let us assume or let us uh, take that this random experiment is repeated n times and in that repetition of n times of that random experiment the event a occurs n a times so how do we express the probability of the event a the probability of the occurring of event a is given by n a divided by n so this is the relative frequency definition of probability this is the relative frequency definition of probability of probability now we will focus on the classical definition of probability this will be n tends to infinity so probability of occurring the event a is equals to limit tends limit n tends to infinity n a divided by n so let's focus on the classical definition of probability probability what is the classical definition of probability let's see in a classical definition of probability we can say that if n be the total possible outcomes total possible outcomes and n a be the number of outcomes outcomes that are favorable to the occurrence of a to the occurrence of a then we can say that the probability of the occurrence of a is equals to n a by n where it is assumed that where it is assumed that all the outcomes are equally likely equally likely now whatever be the definition of probability we need the probability measure probability measure to follow the postulates or axioms postulates or axioms so what are the postulates or axioms one probability of a is always greater than equals to 0 two probability of s is always equals to 1 and when probability of a is equals to 0 that is an impossible event so probability of a is greater than equals to 0 mostly it will be greater than 0 but when it is equals to 0 it is an impossible event and in this case when probability of s equals to 1 if this was given as probability of a is equals to 1 then it would have been a sure event now postulate 3 is a b is equals to phi then probability of a plus b is equals to probability of a plus probability of b now let's focus on the property property so i will show you the properties of probability now number one will be probability of a union b is equals to probability of a plus probability of b minus 
probability of A intersection B. The second property will be probability of A complement is equals to 1 minus probability of A. And the third property is if A is a subset of B which is a subset of S then probability of A is less than equals to probability of B. So we inside the bracket. Okay. Now we will talk about independence of the event. Independence. What is independence of two events? Two events A and B two events A and B are said to be independent are said to be independent when probability of A B is equals to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. You can also write this as probability of A intersection B is equals to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. Now, when are we, when are we calling two events mutually exclusive? Mutually exclusive. Two events A and B are mutually exclusive or disjoint if probability of A intersection B is phi. So we can say two events A and B are mutually exclusive or disjoint disjoint if probability of a b or probability of a intersection b is equals to phi there is one important thing you should uh, remember about the independence of the events independence if a and b are independent so will be any combination of a b a dashed and b dashed well thank you for watching the video hope this helped you in brushing up your concepts of probability and i hope this will be very helpful for your competitive exams for more videos on probabilities and other topics of statistics keep checking our channel and stay tuned thank you